Good evening, Kavita. Good evening, Priyanka. Is my voice is audible and screen is visible? Kindly confirm. Unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. Good evening, sir. Very good evening, Priyanka. Thank you. Kavita, is my voice is audible and screen is visible? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you so much. We're going to start the session very soon. Let Sadar to join the session as well. We're going to start it uh, within two minutes. So just stay connected, okay? Thank you. Rajinder, we're going to start the session very soon. Just stay connected. Is my voice is audible to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Just stay there. We're going to start the class very soon. Let's other to join the class. Yes. Thank you. Sir, maybe timing, urgent timing. Within two minutes, we're going to start. Two, three minutes. Okay. So just I stay. Seven thirty. Seven thirty already there. Yeah, yeah. At seven thirty. Within two, three minutes, we're going to start. Okay. So just stay there. Okay, okay, no issues. All right, thank you. Kavita, are you preparing for IELTS journal or academic? May I know? Hello, general sir. All right, great. And Priyanka, what about you? Sir, academic. Academic, okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
All right. Good evening, everyone. Last confirmation is my voice is audible and screen is visible. Kindly confirm. Kavita, Priyanka, yes, Rabia. Yes, thank, yes, thank you. Rajinder, Rajveer. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, the demo will be approximately of 40 minutes. And I would request all of you to attend entire demo in order to understand our structure and learning fully. So attend till the end. And if you will have any question in mid of the presentation, you can ask me any question at any point, but it should be relevant to the topic. First of all, Vin welcome to Vineyard English. We are the first IELTS Institute in India with PhD English experts and IDP certified trainers. Normally in normal centers, center hire, uh, hires those trainers which have achieved six or seven bands or even five, six bands in normal centers. We hire only experts like IDP certified trainers or those who achieved higher studies like PhD English and Phil English. So you're going to be taught by experts only. 40 plus hour of live training. Every day there will be one and a half hour class. We will cover two module in the class. Two module, we will provide you the assignment. Normally, if you research in the market, many institutes just provide one session a day in one hour. We cover two modules. Speaking will be there on every day. Uh, one person just joined from Redmi Mobile. May I know the name? There is name is missing. Anyways, so we will. I will explain you the entire schedule. So every day, one and a half hour class will be there. Sixty plus updated recordings you will get. That means we will provide you a mobile application. I will show you in upcoming slides. Whatever the class you're going to attend, you can review the same class next day. That means you will get all the recordings of your classes. For an example, if today we are taking class, this recording will be shared into your, we will provide you a mobile application, just like YouTube. You can explore your all videos and that account will be activated for three months minimum. Whether you take our services for one month or two months, we will provide you the account for three months. 160 plus practice test we're going to provide you. 160 practice test means we will provide you a separate account, username and passwords. Guys, those who just joined, you did not miss anything. We just started. So just pay attention. We will provide you an account. I will show you that account lively in upcoming slides. In that account, you will have 160 practice test reading, listening, writings over there. You can practice at your end as well. 
वट एवर जो क्लास में होगा वो तो होगा उसके अलावा यू विल गेट वन सिक्सटी प्लस प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट इन योर अकाउंट वन डेडिकेटेड मोबाइल ऐप वी गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू इन विच इफ यू डोंट हैव लैपटॉप स्टिल यू विल बी एबल टू मैनेज योर एंटायर मटीरियल ऑन योर फोन यू कैन डू रीडिंग लिसनिंग राइटिंग ऑन योर फोन एज वेल अपार्ट फ्रॉम क्लास रूम ट्रेनिंग सॉरी थर्टी प्लस आवर्स ऑफ असाइनमेंट एवरी डे यू विल गेट एन असाइनमेंट इन द क्लास फाइव फुल लेंथ मॉक टेस्ट यू विल गेट फ्रॉम अस इन द पैकेज फुल लेंथ मॉक टेस्ट मीन्स एवरी मॉक टेस्ट विल टेक अप्रोक्सीमेटली थ्री आवर टू अटैम्प्ट इट विल बी सिमिलर लाइक द रियल एग्जाम आयल्स एग्जाम दैट यू गोइंग टू फेस इन द रियल आयल्स एग्जाम सो एवरी सैटरडे वी डू वन मॉक टेस्ट एंड वी एनालाइज यूर इम्प्रूवमेंट every saturday we check your level so those who just joined little brief i let you know we are the first center in india having phd english and idp certified trainers normally in normal centers there are trainers like those who achieve 6 7 bands or 5 6 bands but we have trainers only expert trainers this is the mobile application that we going to provide you we going to provide you two mobile application one is for resource account second is for your videos we will provide you this mobile app you can go to our website www.winyourenglish.com and see the download button from here you can download your mobile application and you can see your on sessions apart from this you can see the previous 80 sessions as well there would be more than 80 videos you can even learn from the videos as well so this is the resource account practice test account which we will provide you in the package i will show you this account lively just give me a second guys is this screen is visible to you it says yes, dashboard sir. online test sabko dikh raha hai kindly confirm yes sir yes sir okay thank you so much uh two person joined from galaxy yes. one per, from j4 and j8 may I know the name your name from galaxy j4 there is a background uh, new sound may I know the name sir or madam i need to rename your id so i can those who don't have name on the id please let me know unmute yourself and let me know who are you from galaxy j8 mobile unmute yourself and let me know your name okay that's fine so guys this is the resource account which we will provide you free of cost and this account uh will be activated for 3 months at least whether you going to register for 1 month or 2 month we going to provide you for 3 months so once you click on online test i'm just going to show you what we going to provide you once you click on uh online test you will see mock test here every saturday we do one mock test if you click on academic reading see you going to access both academic as well as journal aap dono access kar payenge if you are student of academic you will see in academic reading there will be uh five sections in the reading academic reading five section every section further will have five readings in it 40 questions 60 minutes so that means you would have 25 academic readings here if you click on listening five another section would be there further five uh, one section further would have five listenings 40 question 45 minutes these listening listenings will be uh, exactly same that you going to face in the real ielts exam so you going to have 25 listening over here academic academic writing you will have five section every section further will have two question that means writing task 1 and 2 so you will have almost 50 writings over here so once you click on journal 
you will have journal readings over here 25 journal listenings over here journal writings over here so we're going to provide you the entire package in which you can practice a lot apart from the classroom training jo class mein hoga wo to hoga hi this is for practice your self practice you can log in any time here your name will be there you can even enhance your uh, grammar skills by click on the challenge zone here you can refine your grammar skills by playing challenges and quiz will be there so this was the resource account which we provide which we going to provide you free of cost in our package coming back to the presentation quickly just give me a moment so this is the structure of our classes after the enrollment every saturday as we do one mock test the first mock test will be your diagnostic mock test in which our experts will check your level where you stand and what you want to achieve how many bands you want to achieve so we will prepare your journey accordingly so once you will attempt the first mock test our experts will analyze it and prepare your prepare your journey accordingly our online classes would work like this every class will be started with the tips and training 5 or 10 minutes after that the content will be delivered by the trainer and the class would be ended at an assignment so every day you will get an assignment whether in your resource account um any question guys someone just uh, unmute okay that might be due to mistake so every day you going to get the assignment uh through pdf in your whatsapp group or through resource account so once you will get an assignment for an example we provide you writing task 2 assignment you going to assign a whatsapp group aapko ek focused whatsapp group milega jisme your trainer will be there so we will share the assignment in the group for an example if we share the writing task 2 you need to write down the writing task 2 on your notepad and you need to share the screenshot in your group that's it after that our expert will review your assignment mark your assignment as per idp and bc standards and provide you feedback in the same whatsapp group if you going to take the uh, computer based ielts exam then you can uh, type the answer in the word sheet and share in the group either way this is going to be the journey from first week till fourth week on monday we do listening speaking in the class listening will be the exact same that you going to face in the real ielts exam there will be formal speaking one to one formal speaking group discussion will not be there after that reading and listening assignment will be given from your resource account tuesday we do writing task in detail writing task in detail means our trainer will let you know how to write down introduction how to write down body paragraph how to write down conclusion we will not just give you a topic and ask you to write down on the topic no he or she will explain you how many factors will be there in the introduction as introduction has three factors background information or journal comment plus paraphrase the topic plus a thesis line any of these three things should be uh, uh, these three things should be present in the introduction so our experts will let you know what to write and what not to write after that the speaking will be there and writing task 2 and reading assignment will be given from your resource account similarly on wednesday we do writing task 1 in detail plus speaking plus these uh, two module will be given as an assignment thursday reading speaking will be done in the class and reading writing will be given in the uh, as an assignment friday listening speaking reading listening will be assignment saturday we do mock test it's a mock test day all four modules will be assessed so on saturday you have to attempt one mock test that's going to be take approximately 3 hours just like real ielts exam on sunday we share resource we share blogs we share study material videos tips and pdf so that we can add we can provide you value so we work 
seven days a week. Our entire team work constantly so that we can provide value to you guys. Now we're going to discuss the writing task two and its essentials. What are the basic fundamentals which impact the band scores? So guys, just uh, for the confirmation, is everything clear till this point? Any confusion, any question? No, okay, thank you. Priyanka, Kavita, R Rabia, Rajinder, Rajiv, kindly respond, no. guys. Okay. No, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. All right. Right. Thank you so much. We can proceed now. So basically, there are four fundamental factors, four pillars of writing task two, which are essential to know task achievement and response task achievement and response implies how you're going to respond the task whether you're going to attempt all the factors of the question or not whether you're going to cover all the aspects of the question or not as introduction alone has three factors background information or general comment plus paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement. If you miss any of these factors, you will not get the entire bands of task achievement and response. And how are you going to organize your ideas that also comes under this section. Every section having band score from zero to nine. For an example, if you get seven band in task achievement and response, six band in coherence cohesion, seven bands in lexical resource and nine band in grammatical range and accuracy. The band score will be calculated on the average basis. The average of four, four of these will be your band score. So coherence and cohesion implies, it means a perfect connection between lines as well as paragraphs. If an ideal writing task two must shows a perfect linkage from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion. Every line and paragraph should be properly linked. Lexical resource means the type of vocabulary that you're going to use. It has been seen that many students just use high vocabulary word, even they are not sure of the meaning of the word. And they end up with five or 5.5 bands because using the high vocabulary word without knowing means you're going to alter the entire meaning of the passage or the line. So it's going to um, diminish your bands automatically. Grammatical range and accuracy implies that what type of sentences you're going to use, whether you're going to use simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, complex compound sentence, and whether you're going to write uh, in passive voice and um, your grammar should be accurate, sentence structure should be accurate and accuracy of words should be there. So all these things going to be assessed in the fourth pillar. So we teach all our students to use all these type of sentences and structures during our classes. Basically, there are five type of S's, which any of the one type would come in the real exam. Opinionating S's would be there where the examiner will ask your opinion, advantage or disadvantage S's would be there where the you know, examiner will ask you to describe advantages and disadvantages. Discussion essays will be there where you're going to be asked, discuss both views and provide your own opinion or give your own opinion. In that case, you need to write down three paragraph, one discussion in one paragraph, second in second, and then third paragraph, you need to cite your own opinion. And then there would be little in conclusion, like two, three line conclusion. Solution essays will be there where the examiner will ask you to pose some solution to certain problems. Direct question essays will be there. So every type of essay is having its own treatment. We cannot apply all, one treatment to all of the essays. So we teach all treatments to all our students during the classes. Guys, this is the nine band structure 
essay. This is the nine band structure of writing task two. If you follow this structure, you will definitely get more than seven bands. This is the simplest structure and very effective structure because we uh, often attend IDP seminars and BC seminars. We are all, you know, entire team constantly research on the stuff on the aisles so that we can get to know the things in detail. So introduction, as I said, has three parts, background information or journal comment, plus paraphrase the topic plus thesis statement. What is background information? Background information is basically an information which tells something about the topic. For an example, in yesteryears or in previous years, people used to wear simple clothes, but due to the advent of modernization and globalization, masses tend to wear modern clothes. Purane same mein log sade kapde dalte the due to the advent, advent hota hai agaman, kisi cheez ka ana. With the advent of modernization masses, masses is the synonym of people. We cannot use people, people again. Masses is the synonym of people. So we need to use synonym in the writing task too in order to get higher bands. If we use the same words again and again, even those words will not be counted. Plus you will not get the quality bands. So masses tend to wear sophisticated cloths. Kim ka jukaab jo hai sophisticated cloths ki taraf ho gaya hai. So that is the background information. Jo pichle samay se lekar abhi tak kya hua hai. Wo describe kare. Agar just in case background information doesn't come into your mind. Kuch topic aise hote hai jis pe aap background information nahi bana sakte or nahi mind me aata. In that case. You can just write down the journal comment. Journal comment is just like this. Nowadays, people tend to wear modern clothes or clothing owing to modernization and globalization. So this is a journal comment. Our journal comment but easily bana sakte. Plus, paraphrase the tip, a topic. Paraphrase is an art basically you need to convert the exact question into your own words you cannot write down the exact question into the writing task to introduction so you need to convert the words some people believe that other opine that just like this plus thesis statement thesis statement is a great indicator to the reader or the examiner that what you're going to write down in further body paragraph plus it is a connector as well. It is a bridge between introduction and body paragraph. It connects the introduction with the body paragraph. Just like I'm going to discuss this uh, essay or discuss this view in subsequent paragraphs. So in this line, I mean, with this line, the examiner will come to know now what you're going to write down in body paragraph. Now, in body paragraph, it has been seen that students just write down five, six, seven point in one paragraph. They just keep on adding more points in paragraphs and they end up with five or 5.5 bands. Then they complain the IDP or BC system that they have faulty checking system. No guys, they have perfect evaluation system, but we need to understand what is the demand of the IDP or BC structure. They don't want us to write down so many points. They just want clarity. We just need to write down one point in one paragraph. We need to elaborate it well. We need to support it with the example. That's it. Your paragraph is going to be ready. So we don't need five, six, seven points. We just need two to three points. So if generally we would need two points to write down writing task two. In case where your opinion would be asked, you need to write down three paragraphs. So one paragraph must have one point, elaborate or explain it well, support it with example. I will show it in upcoming slides how to do that. In conclusion, you just need to sum up the entire gist or crux or jo nichod hai wo cheez aapne likhni hai. You can also rephrase your opinion as well. You can add some uh, suggestion, threat, fear or hope as well in the conclusion but make sure you should not add any new point in the conclusion
now so guys here i would like you to contribute with this activity in our classes we generally do brainstorming here we will do brainstorming as well so that you can come to know how our classes are being conducted i want all of you to participate those who don't want to participate don't leave the class just observe those who will participate i will appreciate all of you but don't leave the class so guys this is the real question which came into the real ielts exam uh just let you know you should not write down less than 250 words in writing task 2 the writing task 2 should be ideally it should be between 260 to 280 words if you write down more than 300 words or up to 300 words there might be some grammatical mistakes and if you write down like 249 words you will not get the bands of task achievement you will lose your band so it should be ideally between 260 to 280 words in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development as we see people are migrating from india to canada students are migrating from india to canada they are living alone over there in basements or in their you know with their relatives in their home so do you think this is a positive or negative development so such question we can we can attempt this kind of question in three ways first we can write down positive 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 about it or we can write down negative negative about it or we can balance the statement we can say that it has more positive consequences than a few negative consequences negative outcomes right so now tell me what are the advantages of living alone as the question says in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development so we will brainstorm now first we will write down the advantages then we will write down the disadvantages now you will tell me and i will write it down all of you guys contribute in this activity those who don't want to contribute just observe the class but don't leave the class uh, i would appreciate if you contribute harkiran kavita priyanka rabia rajinder rajveer and two other people tell me the advantages of living alone one by one okay kavita tell me the advantages of living alone uh, get more freedom compared to living joint family independence more freedom very good point in the, there there would be more independence and one will become more independent more freedom will be there no one will be there to restrict or a uh, all right good point kavita next harkiran Hi Kiran your voice is not audible please speak up speak loudly I think living alone has more positive aspects than that of living with other family हर किरण आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है आप हेडफोन यूज कर रहे हैं तो विदाउट हेडफोन बोलिए योर वॉइस इज आई थिंक लिविंग विदाउट अ फैमिली हैज मोर पॉजिटिव एस्पेक्ट देन लिविंग विद द फैमिली बिकॉज इन ऑर्डर टू ओन लाइवलीहुड एंड गेट द कॉन्फिडेंस दैट द वन वॉन्ट्स वन शुड स्टे अवे फ्रॉम हिज फैमिली एंड मोर ओवर आई थिंक द बेस्ट आई थिंक if one want to build the uh, confidence then it's better to live away from the family right great point uh, har kiran so confidence level would be boosted so confidence level would be enhanced if one is one would live alone good point any other point guys 
Easy to uh, set up the schedule. Sorry. Easy to set our schedule uh, to, uh, uh, according to our own self. Yeah. So no one would be there to interrupt. No one would be there to disturb. So one can spare time for himself or herself. One can learn new hobbies like such as gardening. One can pursue new, new hob, you know, his hobbies like singing, gymming, swimming, like that. Very good point. Determine, determine to achieving the goal. So one will be more determined to achieving the goal, more focused. More focused. More focused approach. So no one will be there to disturb, right? No disturbance at all. Very good point. All right, guys. Next. Uh, what is the name who's from Galaxy and other? Those who don't have name, just rename guys from the panel. You can do that. Aap apna naam lik sakte hai, uspe panel pe na, right click karke. Aapke mobile ka hi naam aara. Two people having only mobile name. Galaxy J4 and other. All right. What are the other advantages of living alone? One can we learn as, uh, to survive how about uh, how without family? Yes, one will know how to handle emergency situations. So one will learn survival skills. Very good. All right, your name, please, from Galaxy J4 phone. It's Mandeep Kaur. Okay, thank you, Mandeep. I'm going to rename your name. Mandeep, any point? Financially, we get uh, independent. Financially, we get uh, one can get in, uh, independent plus he doesn't have to bear the expenses of others, right? So mm -hmm. no financial burden, burden of family member. burden of other members so we can also say that one can learn the family values as well like those who live apart from the family they somehow miss the family and they uh, come to know you know naturally the feeling inculcates in uh, them okay mandeep do you have a new point no not now okay any other Rajinder, Rajveer, if you have any point, you can explain. Priyanka, Harkiran. All right. Now we will discuss the disadvantages. What are the disadvantages of living alone, guys? Just imagine yourself, you are a student and you're living a in Canada and really depressed. okay depression will be there so one can feel homesickness yes of course okay just think about it I give we you miss our family all the time very good we... very good good point I give you one one minute just think about it imagine yourself okay just think about it All right, so homesickness will be there. One can fall into depression due to homesickness, right? Yes. No one will be there to guide. So one can fall into bad company. Yeah. And if we fall sick, no one is uh, there to, um, to care about us. Very good. No one will be there to guide. Guide. Guide or to care, right? Very good point. Yeah. To getting an idea. Guide to getting an idea. Mm, sorry, Kavita? Yeah, we can add this that we can't get any guidance for getting an idea yeah. for 
Yeah. Yeah. No one will be there to guide yes. us. And uh, no one will be there. Uh, guys, there is a background noise. Oh. So no one will be there in case of emergency. In case of emergency. So this could be the reason as well. Okay. Any other reason? Mandeep, Harkiran, Kavita, Priyanka. Financial burden. Very good. Good. Great point. One has to bear all the expenses alone. One has to bear all the expenses alone. That is financial burden. So in family, basically everyone share the burden. Two, three people will be there. Earning people will be there. But those who live alone, they have to pay all the expenses alone, apartment or home expenses, grocery and other as well. All right. Any other point? Rajbir, Rajinder. So, not to discipline properly. Okay. Not to discipline. Rajbir, do you have? Uh, Sir, there will be lack of company. Uh, means, uh, lack of social circle, social interaction. Yes, and someone uh, would not uh, be able to tackle the problems of life uh, at their own. Wonderful point. So lack of family interaction or social interaction where one will not get the guidance or can be misguided. Uh, one can fall into the bad company like robbery or commit any crime and nobody would be there to stop. Right. Sorry. Plus emotional support will not be there. Lack of emotional support. All right. I think these are enough points. Any other point if you guys having, I can write it down. Any point? I think Mandeep, do you have any point? You just unmute. Mm, no, sir. Okay. All right, guys, the basic purpose of doing this activity is that we do these kind of activities during our classes so that in real exam, you will have plenty of points. Normally, kya hota hai? points ki kami rehti hai in real IELTS exam. When you face the real question, you feel blank. Aapke pas points nahi aate. Aapko samajh nahi aata likhna kis pe hai and what to attempt, how to attempt. So we do these activities during our classes. So over there you feel confident and you select the right point and write it down and it will save your time over there. So once you will practice these skills every day in different activities, we work on the brainstorming a lot. So you will not run out of ideas in the real IELTS exam. So basic purpose mera ye dikhane ka, ye activity karwane ka yehi tha so that you can come to know what we do in our normal classes. This is a normal class like which we do during our classes. So this is the real question which came into the real IELTS exam. And now we're going to discuss it. How to write down the attempt the writing task to using this structure. I will show you now. Introduction. These days, many people choose to live alone, especially in metropolitan areas. And this rate is far higher in developed countries and seems like this has become quite normal there. In some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. These days, many people choose to live alone. So now we basically paraphrase the statement. Plus, we also write down the journal comment. Dono ko humne combine kar diya. Question ko paraphrase bhi kar diya. In some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays. Humne likh diya. These days, many people choose to live alone especially Kahapar metropolitan areas and this rate is far higher in developed countries and seem like seems like this has become quite normal there ki ek trend ban chuka ye humne ek journal comment bhi kar diya paraphrase bhi kar diya unko joint kar diya now yahan pe pucha gaya hai do you think this is a positive or negative development so now we need to answer it in the introduction as well i believe this trend has more positive consequences than few negative outcomes it offers. 
कि इसके बहुत सारे पॉजिटिव एस्पेक्ट्स हैं बट इसके थोड़े से नेगेटिव भी हैं सो वी बेसिकली बैलेंस द स्टेटमेंट हमने एक पॉइंट पे अगर लिखेंगे सिर्फ पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव लिखेंगे तो वी मे वी मे हैव अ फ्यू पॉइंट्स थोड़े से पॉइंट्स मिलेंगे नेगेटिव नेगेटिव लिखेंगे स्टिल वी विल वी विल हैव अ लैक ऑफ पॉइंट्स अगर हम बैलेंस स्टेटमेंट कर देंगे तो वी विल हैव प्लेंटी ऑफ पॉइंट्स let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion so guys this is the thesis line which i just explain these three things should be there in the writing task introduction so similarly this thesis statement basically link the introduction with the writing uh, passage one and also it's a great indicator to the reader what we going to write down in the uh, body paragraph 1 now in body paragraph 1 what we need to do we need to write only one point we need to elaborate it and cite an example that's it so we don't need 5 6 7 points so one point is the single person family those who live alone we converted into synonym single person family jo akele rehte hain the single person family is seen to be positive from better personal skill development and economical perspective do cheezon se ye acha hai those who live alone it's better for two perspective ek to better personal skill development achhi ho jati hai second economical perspective se acha hai kyun hai kaise hai that we going to explain now from here till here as we write down one point in one point we cover two points a single member family see here we write down single member family yahan pe single person family so synonyms ko use kiya a single member family forces a person to learn some basic skills basic skills learn karne ke liye majboor kar deta hai jo alone rehte hain such as cooking cleaning the house paying the utility bills managing personal finance purchasing daily commodities adopting hobbies and many more important skills this makes someone self dependent which has a greater impact on the development of the country in broader sense broader sense mein jo self dependent hote hain those who work somewhere or open any business ultimately they pay tax and which ultimately beneficial for the country for instance for instance means for example research shows that student who stay away from home for their tertiary degrees tertiary means higher education learn more skills and become more self dependent than pupil so pupil pupil is synonym of students so we cannot use student student came so we used synonym pupils who study from home जो घर से दूर रहते हैं दे विल बिकम मोर स्किलफुल एंड सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट देन दो स्टे एट होम सो बेसिकली वी नीड टू गिव एन एग्जाम्पल विच गोइंग टू सपोर्ट आर मेन आइडिया एग्जाम्पल्स का ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको बहुत कुछ पढ़ना पड़ेगा यू कैन मेक योर ऑन एग्जाम्पल यू कैन फेब्रिकेट द एग्जाम्पल बट एग्जाम्पल शुड बी सपोर्टिंग द मेन आइडिया आप यहाँ पे कुछ भी एग्जाम्पल दे सकते हैं इट्स नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट कि इट शुड बी फैक्चुअल फैक्चुअल हो चाहे ना हो बियरली मैटर्स बट इट शुड बी सपोर्टिंग टू द मेन पॉइंट सो वी री एनफोर्स आर पॉइंट दैट दो लिव अलॉन बिकम मोर सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट एंड स्किलफुल एडिशनली ए सिंगल पर्सन फैमिली मेंबर इज बाउंड टू डू जॉब बिजनेस और हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अरेंजमेंट for a steady earning and this trend has a great positive impact on country's economy to jo point second tha ki economical perspective tha usko humne isme cover kar diya those who live alone they have to do some kind of job or some sort of arrangement they built for the steady earning so once they will have steady earning they will pay tax which ultimately beneficial for the country now the second body paragraph from the opposite view point as we balance the statement here 
दिस हैज मोर पॉजिटिव एंड अ फ्यू नेगेटिव आउटकम्स तो हमें सेकेंड पैराग्राफ है जो उसके नेगेटिव पे लिखना पड़ेगा वन पॉजिटिव पे लिख दिया सेकेंड नेगेटिव पे लिख दिया फ्रॉम द ओपोजिट व्यू पाउंड पॉइंट the trend of increasing single person family has a few negative consequences as well ek to few hota hai few means thode a few hota hai thode se bhi thode so it has a few negative consequences as well kya hai kaise hain that we going to describe now as i said one point elaborate it well cite an example so now we going to elaborate the point the increasing trend of living alone has a direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer suffer from psychological problem these days ki jinko psychological problems hoti hain unko zyada hoti hai those who live alone living alone creates loneliness and depression unlike the traditional family where there are always other to share someone's distress or sadness family mein kafi sare log hote hain to wahan pe depression aur loneliness ki trouble nahi aati the isolation isolation is the synonym of loneliness the isolation often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative to wo negative lifestyle ko apna lete hain for example so guys previously we used for instance here we use for instance here we use for example dono ka matlab same hai but we, as i said we need to use synonyms we cannot use same words again and again a recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted kyunki rokne wala koi nahi hai and then they become addicted the human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency for many bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved into crimes as well robbery hoti hai crime hoti hai uske piche karan hota hai because they might face those people may face some financial crisis so what we did in this body paragraph 2 we just write down one point that is in green we elaborated it well from this point till this point then we cited an example which basically supported our main idea now in conclusion the first line of conclusion is again a great indicator to the reader that he or she is going to end up the debate argument or the passage in some words so first line is very crucial so we started with to sum up to end with to encapsulate such words can be used now in conclusion we can rephrase our point the number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era and this has omnifarious omnifarious is a high vocabulary word which means various numerous many so this has various positive aspects despite some negative consequence ki kuch negative bhi hai so here we basically rephrased our और एन री एनफोर्स आर पॉइंट कि जो हमने इंट्रोडक्शन में बोला था कि इसके बहुत सारे पॉजिटिव हैं थोड़े से नेगेटिव हैं वी रीफ्रेस विद अनदर वर्ड्स हेंस वन कैन इम्बाइब इम्बाइब मींस टू गेट किसी चीज को प्राप्त करना और एम्ब्रेस वन कैन इम्बाइब मल्टीफेरियस मल्टीफेरियस इज अगेन सिनेनम ऑफ ओमनीफेरियस दैट ऑल्सो मीन्स वेरियस वन कैन गेट वेरियस cardinal means important important skills of life if he or she choose to live alone so again we reinforce our idea so guys this is the writing task 2 which we just attempted on the basis of this high band structure any question i can answer after that we will start the speaking session any question guys harkiran kavita mandeep priyanka rabia rajender and one another person uh, sir i did uh, lots of grammar grammatical error in this writing part how okay. can i manage my grammatical error very good point kavita see we have idp certified trainer so whenever you will write it down your writing task 
they will pick your errors and they will give you exact idea of that concept. Let's suppose if you do subject verb agreement uh, mistake, he or she will let you know this is subject verb agreement and this is the concept. So, aapko proper samjhaya jayega ki iske piche concept kya hai. Then slowly, slowly your errors will be, you know, eradicated. Aapki writing improve hoge. So, hamari jitne bhi trainers hai, sabhi ki yehi koshish hoti hai ki once you will attempt it, they will rectify your mistakes, they will deliver you the feedback. तो आपको प्रॉपर फीडबैक मिलेगी जिससे आपकी मिस्टेक्स कम हो जाएंगी ओपाई आंसर योर क्वेश्चन कविता आर ट्रेनर विल सपोर्ट यू एट द बैक एंड एज वेल वंस यू विल अटेम्प्ट एनी टास्क दे विल प्रोवाइड यू प्रॉपर फीडबैक इन द फीडबैक यू विल बी गिवन ऑल द यू नो यू गोइंग टू गेट योर आंसर any other question guys any question priyanka mandeep kavita harpreet harkiran uh, sir how to improve our vocab strength sorry how to improve vocabulary vocabulary see kavita yeah. we do share resource on sundays and during week as well Last Sunday we share 500 vocabulary words. If you just learn four or five words every day, and then you need to implement those words into your daily routine. So you need to make sentences. Just your brain should be work like this. Every day you need to pick four or five vocabulary words. Unko apne use karna hai daily life mein. How you can use it? You can form sentences. जो आप काम कर रहे हैं यू कैन इंटेग्रेट दोज वर्ड्स इन टू योर डेली लाइफ इन दैट वे वो आपके जो वर्ड्स होंगे माइंड में सेट हो जाएंगे यू कैन यूज दोज वर्ड्स सो इन दिस वे यू कैन एनहेंस योर वोकेबलरी सो वी शेयर रिसेंटली लास्ट संडे वी शेयर ऑल टाइप ऑफ सेंटेंसेस विच शुड बी यूज टू गेट हायर बैंड्स लाइक कंपाउंड सेंटेंस कम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस कम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड सेंटेंस हमने वर्डिंग शेयर की हाउ टू राइट डाउन इंट्रोडक्शन बॉडी पैराग्राफ वी शेयर 500 हाई वोकेबलरी वर्ड्स काफी सारा मटेरियल है व्हिच वी शेयर इफ यू वर्क डिलीजेंटली यू विल डेफिनेटली फाइंड इंप्रूवमेंट इन योर सेशंस इन योर स्किल्स एनी अदर क्वेश्चन राजेंद्र डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन नो सर ओके Rabia do you have any question Rabia are you there okay. No sir no okay. question Priyanka do you have any question No sir Kavita No sir Okay Harpreet Any question Harpreet हर किरण एनी क्वेश्चन हरप्रीत नो सर ओके हर किरण डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन राइट सो नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद द स्पीकिंग प्रैक्टिस सो स्पीकिंग विल बी देयर ऑन एवरी डे what happens in the real exam when student attend the real speaking exam we have noticed we have uh, we came to know that many of the student just shiver over there they fail to face the examiner sometime they uh, fail to attempt the task sometime unhe task ki pure pura pata hota hai still they unable to attempt because somehow they lack in practice so we do lots of practice during classes every day we do speaking practice for sure so that on the exam exam day you you want run of ideas we work on the psychological pattern we will enhance your power of imagination so basically speaking is exam will take approximately 11 to 14 minutes there will be three sections 
first section there will be journal questions from the examiner like describe your hometown describe about your uh, tell me something about your family did you like your previous studies or not just like that very journal questions after that in second round there will be a cue card section in cue card section you will be given the cue card just like this it will ask describe a time when you receive some positive feedback then there will be three bullet points when it was when it was it's asking time exact date last year last month last week or yesterday whatever what the feedback was related to kiske related the feedback kisne i mean was it related to your homework your office work or social work who gave you the feedback kisne di teacher ne di parents ne di friend ne di kisne di kisi officer ne di and explain how you felt about it aapko kis tarah feel hua felt means past ki baat ho rahi hai to we need to describe the entire event in the past hum present tense nahi use kar sakte mostly kya hota hai ki student they often mix and match the sentences they mix the sentences uh, tenses uh, mix past tense with the present present with the future so our trainer will train you uh, they will align your speaking agar aap mistakes karenge bhi you will get the immediate feedback and then you will come to know about your mistakes so what is the technique to basically attempt a cue card you need to quickly you will be given only 1 minute to prepare sirf 1 minute milega aapko prepare hone ke liye iske bare mein after that you will have to speak for minimum 2 minutes 2 minute ke liye aapko bolna padega if examiner may i mean he or she can stop you in the mid as well so what should be your approach first you need to introduce the topic quickly in one to two line then you need to quickly cover these three bullet points as soon as possible then you you need to conclude the topic in one and half minute and after that use the connector like additionally furthermore moreover you can extend the content as long as you want so basic idea behind is you need to use the power of imagination so what is power of imagination power of imagination means you can imagine anything and you can describe anything anything for an example if you living in a small town if i live in let's suppose at ludhiana an examiner would ask me to describe your city how i will describe it i would say i live at ludhiana it is situated in the mid of hills and we have a wonderful lake on the southern side where people love to visit in the evening we have multifarious shopping malls where people from the globe visit our city and shop we have world's renowned university in our city we have oldest church in our city we have a wonderful waterfall in our city just like this chahe wo cheeze hai chahe nahi examiner is not going to check the facts he or she is not going to check whether ludhiana is situated in mid of hills or not but we need to beautify the conversation we need to imagine we need to work on the imagination pattern we need to make the he or she is going to check our fluency our sentence structure how we are going to make the conversation more relevant and interesting so humne us cheez pe work out karna hai so basically power of imagination is just like that you can describe toronto michigan or melbourne and just name your city that is called the power of imagination so humne har cheez sach sach nahi batani the more you will lie in the ielts exam the more bands you will get so basically you need to beautify the entire task entire conversation in writing task 3 Uh, sorry in speaking task 3 there will be some question related to your cue card cue card ke upar hi questions honge so now i would all i would like all of you to prepare for this topic those who want to speak those who will attempt it i will appreciate those who don't want to attempt just stay there don't leave the class at least you will learn something new i will give you 
the feedback those who will attempt this i will give you a valued feedback jo aapke kaam aayegi so guys i will give you 2 minutes aapne jaise bhi describe hota hai aap describe kijiye it's not like that aapko expert ki tarah describe karna hai kyunki it's your first time so but i will give you feedback which will be really helpful to you this is the last activity which we going to do today within 5 7 minutes we will sum up entire um entire uh, session today session so i give you 2 minute time starts now just prepare for this cue card and speak up as jaise bhi aap bol sakte hain is pe boliye time starts now and the one jiska bhi prepare ho gaya he or she can speak up you can start speaking All right. Who will speak up first? Ah, Ar- uh, sir, I will speak first. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, Kavi. I want to. Uh, I want to tell you about the positive feed feedback. It is my cue card, and uh, it was uh, in the last year uh, when I uh, when I did it from my uh, office. and it was a last working day in my office my all uh, colleagues and my bosses was assembled over there and they said me that uh, how i efficient efficiently worked over there and uh, my positive thoughts and my positive work uh, they told me that uh, how much uh, hard work i did uh, in my all the career so it was a great achievement for me that i got a a uh, lot of positive aspects uh, from there and uh, basically it was for my colleagues who worked uh, with uh, with me from the last 5 years and uh, it was a uh, it was a great uh, uh, happiness for me that uh, i achieved over here and uh, i got promotions i got recognitions uh, so all the things were very important for me and i always remember that they I never forget that my last working day was a uh, uh, memorable for me from my all uh, office stuff great uh, kavita wonderfully explained actually you covered all the bullet points uh, grammatical mistakes were not there but uh, yes alignment should uh, must be corrected to aapko that will come with the practice jaise first mein initial mein initially we, we don't need to start with uh, we we don't uh, need to start with like that th- this is my topic so you can directly start like this um during uh, i i mean in the past i got several feedbacks from many of uh, many people from my college time during my school time and from my colleagues as well uh last month i got a positive feedback from my chairman of my company and uh, it was my retirement you can you can say anything right and they appreciated okay. me a lot and uh, they also appreciated my hard work 
and how I worked diligently during my past years and I felt amazing about it. Okay, so we have, I mean, we need to attempt like this. Apne okay. attempt kiya. It was good, but we will definitely refine it in the classes, right? Great okay. attempt. Good attempt. Good. Harkiran, Priyanka, you want to explain? No? No. Okay, not at all. So guys, uh, thank you so much for your time. If you would like to join our classes, to aisa hi structure humare class mein follow hota hai, that I just explained. Most welcome. You can text me on the mobile whenever you want to join. Humare new batches start hone ja rahe hai, academic as well as journal ke. So we have uh, separate batches for academic, separate batches for journal. We have various timings available as well. So let me know if you would like to start from tomorrow or day after tomorrow most welcome thank you so much for your time have a great evening good night all of you thank you for sparing your value time take care this is the end of the session thank you so much bye all of you priyanka harkiran kavita Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you.